Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at House by the Side of the Road in Wilton, and I'm joined by Rachel Massini from the UNH Cooperative Extension. And Rachel, I gather we're going to be talking about an import from Canada by way of Europe that not many people want. <laughs> exactly. We're going to be talking about the viburnum leaf beetle. This is a chrysomella beetle, which is a leaf feeder. And the larvae are approximately a little less than a half an inch at maturity. They're light yellow in color with black spots on them and they can really defoliate a viburnum. Down at the bottom here is the adult. The adults are about a quarter inch. They're a little um, brown or yellowish in color, and they're also um, leaf feeders. And you, so, you have some pictures some of, of the, the damage. damage yeah, yeah. The, the larvae does a lot of damage. They actually skeletonize the leaves, and the adults chew large holes in the leaves, and they usually start at the lower leaves first, then they'll, um, as the season progresses, moves up the plant. And what about the picture closest to you? What's right that? here, this is showing the overwintering egg site. And it's kind of interesting that we have an arrowhead right here. Some of the susceptible varieties for the viburnum leaf beetle are the arrowhead, the, um, the cranberry bush, the hobble bush, and they prefer that, but there are also resistant varieties. All right, so we have the big pictures here, but let's take a look at what they actually look like in real life here. This happens to be an arrowhead. This is one of its preferred hosts. And if you look at last year's growth or this year's um, growth, you notice the egg sites are right here. What the female will do is she will actually stick her over or chew a hole, stick her ovipositor and lay an egg, and then she'll cap that with feces and bark. And this is a perfect time between October and April to go out if you have one of those varieties and you've seen this feeding and to prune those out. Now this is kind of tough to see though, I mean, especially if you're out there beside and looking for it. So any other indicators or you really have to examine closely? One indicator would be, are you being fed on during the growing season? Are you noticing damage like this where your, your plants are being defoliated? That could be an indicator that you might have this pest. So where do I want to prune this plant? What then? you want to do is definitely prune out the egg laying sites so you could prune here right at this node and get rid of that. What about some alternatives? Maybe you said they like these type of plants. Are there some other ones I can choose? You maybe can. There is a list of resistant varieties and you can go to Cornell's website. There's a list there, but this happens to be a resistant variety. This is what we call the book Burke Wood Eye. Um, this is a resistant variety. They don't care for this. Really what they're focusing on are the viburnums with um, hairless leaves. They okay. prefer those. So if you have those in your yard, now is the time to go out, take a good look at them, and just prune them, get them away. And remember, don't throw them in your <laughs> compost pile. <No. laughs> That's it for today's Grow It Green.